Hello, this is PJ Kirkpatrick from Locate and welcome to Locate Academy. Today we are going to demonstrate how to extract the pixel RGB or our red, green, blue values from an image using two techniques. One, the single selection and two, the window selection. Let's get started. So now that we've created our filing structure, we're going to select the search method. There's a couple of different methods we've incorporated into the Locate software, color range and a color imbalance threshold. Color imbalance threshold is the more advanced technique, which I will discuss in a later video. So once you've selected the color range, we're going to move down to the bottom left of the screen and select viewer. This is going to open up our viewer window. Next, we're going to open up the photo of our missing subject. So I have my file structure as I described earlier. Subject image, I'm going to open that up and select the image to open. And here in this image, we have three dummies. Yours truly in the middle. So what we want to do once we have this image open is zoom in as close to the area that we want to extract the RGB values from. In this example, we're going to use the screen. Notice over here on the left, as I move the cursor around, it's showing you what the RGB values are. Again, zoom in as close and to those as you can. Because what I want to do here is I'm going to use this uh, single selection. In the upper left hand corner in this single selection box or selection box you have the single option and the window option. Once I identify a pixel I want to extract the RGB value from, if you just right click on that pixel it provides you with the RGB value over here in the RGB data box. In this example, I'm going to click multiple single pixels and of varying shades of blue. So I'm going to pick a light one, and I can move over here. Here's a really light area. So now I have three separate pixels of these genes because there's a, it's multiple shades, not just one color. In the next video, I'll describe why I'm selecting multiple pixels. The other option that we have to select pixels is to use a window. So instead of just selecting multiple pixels, if you right click on the screen and drag your cursor over and hold that right uh, mouse button, you can see it's the RGB data over on the left. If I release the mouse, it provides me with the average value of all the pixels that are in that box. So now that we've selected the pixels we want the locate software to look for, next we will create a color range. So to summarize, step one, we selected the search method. Step two, we open the image of the missing person or object that we're looking for. And finally, step three, zoom in and select a pixel or multiple pixels. Thank you.